Can you start a reselling business with no money at all? Not starting with $10 or $5 or even $1. Literally starting with $0 and create money from nothing just by flipping items. Let's see. What is up you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. And in the past, over a year ago, I made a video called the $1 Thrift Challenge, where I took $1 into the Goodwill outlet, and I bought five things, and I ended up making over $100 from that $1 investment. But I wanted to pursue this challenge a little bit further and see if that was just a fluke, or if this is something that really anybody can do to continuously bring in some extra money into their life. Now to make things slightly more interesting this time around, I'm not starting with a dollar, I'm starting with nothing, zero dollars. I have no money at all. So obviously I have to figure out some way to get the ball rolling because as the saying goes, you've gotta spend money to make money. Some other rules that I'm giving myself for this challenge is that I cannot use my social media presence to help me at all. I can't ask my YouTube subscribers to buy from me and I can't ask my Instagram followers to buy from me. I want this to be a fair fight. I'm even gonna take it a step further and I'm not gonna sell anything on my personal eBay page because it's too easy for a viewer of the YouTube channel to go on there and buy something from this challenge. And again, I wanna make this as fair as possible. So if I eventually come across something in this challenge that really needs to be sold on eBay to get the sale, I'm just gonna create a new eBay store that nobody knows about. And if it sells on there, we all know that it's an authentic sale and not something that a viewer bought just to support the channel. So first things first, starting with $0 means that I've gotta get out there and find something for free that I can sell to generate some small amount of cash so I can get the flip ball rolling. It's hard to make money with flipping if you don't have any cash on hand. So I'm gonna spend the next couple minutes perusing Facebook Marketplace, maybe look at Craigslist for curb alerts, free items, things like that that I could go pick up and maybe sell somehow to generate a couple bucks in income. So let's see what we can do. So Facebook Marketplace was pretty much a bust. I didn't find anything worth pursuing, so I decided to hit the road and do some curb alert searching in the flesh, as well as maybe hit some dumpsters to see if we can find anything dumpster diving. So I haven't found anything yet. I'm currently riding behind this like strip mall that's like a grocery store and a bunch of other stores. There's a GameStop back here. So one of these dumpsters is for a GameStop. And I've always heard people say that you can find some good stuff in GameStop dumpsters. Um, but so far, I mean, like you can see, there's not really, not really much out here. There's a little shopping buggies there. You can find some boxes for eBay. If you're shipping stuff on eBay, you can always find some boxes in these dumpsters but I don't know if we're gonna be able to find anything of any of any value, anything we could actually flip for some money. I didn't really have any luck with the dumpster, but I was on the way back home to look at Craigslist and I just saw some free stuff sitting beside the road. It looked like a, a wooden thing, like maybe like a mini bar and a golf bag. And I'm gonna stop and see, they're right here. I'll stop and see what the deal is with these. Okay, so we got this Nike golf bag. A little dirty, but appears to be in good condition. This is kind of kind of rough around the edges, and I don't really have a lot of room for that. So I'm definitely gonna grab the Nike golf bag. See if we can get it cleaned up. So I think I'm off to a pretty good start. We got the golf bag for free from the side of the road. It took like, I don't know, five minutes to clean it up. It's nice and clean, it's just wet. So I stuck out there in the yard to dry off in the sun. Once it's dry, I'll take some pictures of it, list it on Facebook. Hopefully we can get some bites if I price it well enough. So the golf bag is currently listed on Facebook Marketplace for $30. I'm hoping to get maybe somebody offer me 20 bucks for it or so. While we wait, I'm riding through this neighborhood and it is their recycling day. Everybody's got their trash cans and recycling bins out, but unfortunately, most of the recycling bins are turned upside down. So that means that the recycling has probably already come today. So I haven't found anything yet, but I'm just gonna go up and down a couple of these streets. Um, it's like a, a middle income neighborhood, so hopefully we can find some good stuff just sitting beside the road for free. At least that's the goal. I'm riding through this back neighborhood and I saw this pile of stuff over here. I don't know if it's junk or what, but there may be some good stuff in here. We got a old phone. 
really seeing much of some Christmas tree, Christmas tree silicone things. Those will be good. Another phone, get some tin cans. Uh, and then we got a old umbrella. That looks really broken. Probably won't mess with that. But somebody might want this for like a, a project or something, you know? Maybe you could put a picture in there or something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this in the back of the SUV. It's in good condition, just needs to be tightened up a little bit. Some of my could give me five or ten bucks for that on, on Facebook. So the mirror and the Christmas tree molds. Good funds for free. So I was out here in my driveway about to list this little mirror thing on Facebook Marketplace and I got the notification that our golf bag has sold for $30 plus shipping. The buyer paid $15 in shipping. It's going to Ohio, so it's uh, definitely not gonna cost that much to ship the golf bag. Probably make a little bit of money on shipping, but uh, I think worst case scenario, let's say we're gonna walk away with about $28 on this, which is great because I literally just found the golf bag on the side of the road this morning totally for free. So just within, four or five hours or so, we've already gone from $0 to about $28, which is absolutely huge in this challenge. So I'm really excited to see where we go from here. Let's get this mirror thing listed today. Let's get the Christmas trees. I don't know if those are gonna sell right now. It's currently January. Um, I may just save those for like a big yard sale. If we end up in this challenge of getting a bunch of smaller items, I could have a small yard sale and maybe get a buck or two for those. Uh, but right now we're just gonna list the mirror on Facebook and probably call it a day for day one of this series. What's going on you guys? Welcome to day two of the starting from zero challenge. I've got my golf bag ready to ship out today. This is going to Ohio and it cost me $14.75 to send it with UPS ground and I charged the buyer on Facebook $15 for shipping. So after Facebook took our 5% selling fee off the total of $45, that leaves me with a total of exactly $28 dollars in profit on this free golf bag and today we're going to see how much money we can take that 28 dollars and turn it into today's a great day for this challenge because it's recycling day in my neighborhood so right now i'm just riding through and seeing if anybody put anything out to be thrown away today and then also it's half price day at the goodwill bins if you guys don't know what that is it's a goodwill outlet or clearance store where everything is sold by the weight usually it's a dollar and 89 cents per pound for like shoes and clothing but today that's half off so it's less than a dollar per pound so i could go in there and get two or three maybe vintage t-shirts or something for a dollar and maybe throw those up on facebook marketplace as a bundle and maybe get 20 bucks for them i don't know it's there's just a lot of possibilities for today so stay tuned so no luck with the recycling in my neighborhood didn't see anybody put out anything other than some cardboard boxes so i came here to the goodwill outlet and goodwill retail store and like i said i got 28 dollars. let's see what we can do usually when i come to the outlet i'm looking for really small items that are easy to ship on ebay but because i'm not gonna i'm trying not to list stuff on ebay in this challenge i'm really looking for like bigger maybe like sporting goods type things that i could take to uh play it against sports to trade in for cash today this babylon team bag make sure all the zippers work but i think this will be a good pickup it'll probably cost us maybe a dollar or so we could probably take this to play it against sports and maybe get five bucks for it five or ten bucks i think we'll grab it okay we got some shoes here some adacross these are like a spikeless golf shoes i think in pretty good condition i think if we uh there's the other one right here i think if i take these home and get them cleaned up a little bit we can also take them to play it against sports and i don't know maybe get like five or ten bucks for them again not a ton of money but every dollar helps so all i found in the bins today is the babylon bag and those white adidas shoes there's a lot of people in there today shopping around and i don't really have a ton of time because i got to get this stuff cleaned up and figure out if i'm gonna list it on facebook marketplace or just take it straight and play it against sports but we'll see uh, i i spent three dollars and eighty cents uh, i'll show you my receipt on the screen here three dollars and eighty cents on this stuff and hopefully we can make a good amount of profit on that so I just got home, I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up. I've got my bucket of warm water and some Dawn Gist soap. I've got uh, a scrub brush, like I used for the same brush I used on the golf bag the other day. A Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and also this drill brush thing. Uh, my Ryobi drill is just a regular drill, but then this brush attachment is like a little scrub brush. So that'll help us clean some of the shoes or maybe some of the bag. There's like a little scuff right there on the bag. 
if that doesn't come off with a magic eraser. I checked the front pocket, everything's good in here. There's a little secret pocket up here. Oh, I don't know. Um, side pockets seem to work fine. Ooh, there's stuff in here. Oops. God, look at this! Look at dollar! Oh, man! Oh, okay, nothing else in that one. A dollar! We paid $3.80 for the shoes and the bag together, so now we've only paid $2.80. Okay, that that is, this is awesome. All right, let's check out the other pocket. Maybe there's some more money in this one. No, just more tampons and some UV spectrum sunscreen. Okay, nothing else in there, but the zippers all work. So let's get this thing cleaned up. $2.80 for a pair of Adidas spikeless golf shoes and a Babolat team. Uh, bag. I don't really, I thought this was like a tennis bag or maybe like a roller. I don't even know what it's for, but Bab Babolat, Bab Babolat or whatever is a great brand. Uh, so I think we can uh, get a few bucks for this for sure. But let's get all this stuff cleaned up. So I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is both items cleaned up very well and they look great. The Babolat bag, all the little scuffs on the side, most of the scuffs on the side came out. All the zippers work. I used that little lighter to get rid of some of the little dangly danglies on the, the fabric and it's, it's a great bag. However, on the shoes, you'll notice something. Both of these shoes are left footed. And I was like, maybe, maybe there's two pairs or something. I don't know, but both of them are size 10 and a half and literally the identical shoe, both of them freaking for the left foot. So that sucks because now these are basically worthless. I don't know if I should go back to the bins and try to look for the other two right foot shoes. I, I, I don't know the chances that two, two pairs of identical golf shoes in identical condition, identical size would be at the bins at the same time is pretty unlikely but i feel like one pair of golf shoes where both both feet are, are left footed is just as unlikely so i don't know if i'm gonna go back to the bins and try to find another pair or not uh so as it stands i'm gonna count the golf shoes as a loss and we would be looking at just the babolat team bag that we got for a total of two dollars and eighty cents um since we took away the uh the dollar that we found in the pocket so not not great not great so i couldn't stand the thought of not knowing so i'm back here at the goodwill bids i'm trying to find at least one of those shoes in a right foot i really think they have to be here somewhere the bad news is that there are thousands of shoes here so it's going to take a lot of searching but we'll see if we can find it what's up tim hey how are you round two. round two well that was a bust i was in there for probably maybe 20 minutes or so looking for the match to those mismatched pairs of shoes and I couldn't find anything. I also looked for some other golf shoes that could maybe get the same amount of money for if we took them and played against sports, but no luck with that either. So my last uh, ditch effort is gonna be going into the retail side. This is just a normal Goodwill. Uh, I've still got $28 minus $2.80, whatever that is. <laughs> maybe we can find some golf shoes or something in here. All shoes in here are gonna be $6.50. Uh, so it's still maybe some profit if we can flip them on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Oh, look at those Jordans. They kind of tore up on the bottom. Peeling on the heel. Here's some Adidas, Adidas golf shoes. There we go, baby. Are they in good shape? I think so. We'll grab these for $6.50. I also found this pair of Nike shocks, which are in pretty good condition. They just need a little bit of cleaning. These should sell pretty well, maybe on Facebook Marketplace. And I found this pair of Uggs, uh, Ugg like fur mid-top boots. Both of these are going to be $6.50 each, so we're spending $13 just on those, plus these Adidas shoes. So we'll, know, like 20 bucks. I don't see a situation where we're going to lose money on either, any of these shoes, because these are all pretty good shoes. 
Uh, but again, it's a big, it's a big uh, risk because we're spending so much of our money on just three items, but we'll see what works. So baseball style hats at this local Goodwill are just a dollar each and actually have a pretty good selection up here today. I found this Vans like snapback in really good shape. So I'll grab that. There's a, uh, I don't know what that is. It's Boston. It's got some stains on it. So I'll pass on that one. Michigan. Um, I'm just trying to be really picky stuff that will sell really fast um, these are definitely some of the best hats I've seen here for a dollar each you can't really go wrong Jameson whiskey Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse Hawaiian hat is pretty cool that's a Reebok that's pretty cool I'll grab that one that is Tony Hawk. I don't want to spend all of our money. Nike Athletics, that's really cool. I'll get that one too. I don't want to spend all of our money in the first thrift store. It just has to sell something before we have anything else to work with. So I'll get a couple of these. Continental, trucker hat. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to get three pair of shoes and two hats. It should be $19.50. $21.50. My Goodwills here don't charge any sales tax. So it should be $21.50, which would leave us with like five bucks or so. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. One blue, one yellow, and two hats. So as you guys saw, I put back that pair of Nike shocks. They were just, there was like part of the side of one that was peeling, and I just don't want to deal with that. It's too much. $6.50 is too much to spend on a pair of shoes that I would have to like glue back together and and all that jazz. So I just got the Adidas golf shoes and the pair of Ugg boots and the two hats. It was a total of $15 even. So I feel better about that purchase because we're not spending so much of our money at one time. And I think that we can definitely get the Uggs sold on Facebook Marketplace pretty quickly. So here's a quick update for you guys. I have the Adidas golf shoes and the Ugg boots listed on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm gonna take this Babolat bag to play it against sports i thought about listening on facebook but to be completely honest with you i don't know what kind of bag this is uh, and i think the market for this bag is going to be pretty small i would think I, I don't know if it's for like rollerblades or i mean it's too small to be a tennis bag so i'm not sure but if i take it to play it against sports i have to go over there anyway to go to the post office with my regular ebay orders so if they can give me 10 bucks for it eight or 10 bucks for it that would be at least worth the trip over there and i can use that cash to buy something that would maybe sell a little bit faster. I just don't think this will sell fast enough to be a good item for a flip, but I'm only in at like two bucks or so, like $2.80. Uh, so as long as they give me more than that, it's profit. So I'm on the way to the post office and I am pumped, baby. Let's get it. I just got the notification from Facebook that the pair of Ugg boots that I listed like an hour and a half ago just sold for full asking price, 35 bucks free shipping. They were underpriced a little bit, but I wanted to try to get a lot of interest in these boots. I knew if I listed them for 50 or $60, they would probably sell in, the, in a week or two, but I really wanted to focus on that quick cash for this challenge. So I think that's some pretty good moves for the day. I'm on the way to the post office now. I'm going to drop off my regular eBay orders and then I'm going to head to Play It Against Sports to see what they'll give me for the tennis bag. Hey, how are you? Good. I got something for you. I'm not 100% sure what it is. <laughs> but right. I figure if anybody would know, you would know. It's a tennis bag. Tennis bag, okay. I just, it wasn't big enough for a racket, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm not real sure what a racket is. I knew that Babolat was a tennis brand. Yeah. All right, you guys, so I just sold the tennis bag. The zipper was getting stuck, but we used some oil and stuff and got the zipper working. It turns out it is a tennis bag because the top has like this secret compartment where the tennis handle would stick up. Uh, so given that we had to do so much work with the zipper, he offered me $5. And I'm like, how about six? And he's like, okay, six it is. So we spent $2.80 and turned that into six. Not the best flip of the day, but uh, make a profit. I was going to call it quits for day two of the challenge, but I think I'm gonna head into one more Goodwill right here to see if we can find something else to invest in for this challenge. This Ryobi 11.94. Just got the battery in there and it works. 11.94 yellow. Would you like to roll it over to the next challenge? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. 
a hybrid. Fred. Hybrid, hybrid. Yeah. It's got a battery in there, and you can oh, take the battery out and plug an extension cord in if you if the battery oh, runs so out. Cool. Yeah, not not too bad for twelve bucks. I do have Ryobi tools myself, and I think I have the charger for this battery. It's the Ryobi 18 volt lithium. Um, but if I don't have the charger for it, it's a hybrid. So you can scoot this thing over and plug it into an extension cord, which is awesome. This is going to get listed on Facebook Marketplace, and I feel like I could pretty easily get like 40 bucks for it. Easily, easily get 40 bucks for it, but we'll see. What is up, you guys? Welcome to day three of the Starting From Zero Challenge. I want to give you guys an update of where we left off yesterday so we started yesterday with 28 dollars then we spent three dollars and 80 cents at the goodwill bins we found a dollar inside the backpack then we spent 15 dollars at the regular goodwill on the pair of uggs the adidas cleats and the two hats so that left us with ten dollars and twenty cents but then we sold the uggs on facebook marketplace for 35 dollars free shipping facebook took five percent of the total we spent twelve dollars and forty seven cents shipping the uggs out and so that left us with $20.70 just from the, the UGG sale. So when we combine those two numbers, we're currently left with $30.98 starting off day three with, and then we still have the Adidas shoes, the leaf blower, the two hats, the mirror frame, and the Christmas mold. So not too bad considering we're just three days into this starting from absolute zero challenge. So one of the hardest parts about doing this challenge is the fact that I still have to run my regular eBay business on top of this. So I don't have a ton of time to spend focused on this. You know, if somebody was in a predicament where they could spend all of their time on this, they could probably make a little bit more money than I have made so far because I'm just spending one or two hours a day doing doing this challenge. So today I'm just going to head to one Goodwill, see if we can make good use of our 30 something dollars, whatever we, whatever I just said in the office, see if we can buy something to either take to plate against sports or take to a pawn shop or list on Facebook marketplace. And hopefully later on today, we can get some of the stuff we already have listed on Facebook marketplace sold. So first I found this like military backpack here. It's pretty cool, but it has a lot of stains on it like right there. So I was looking through the more bags and then I found this Kelty camping backpack for $3.97. It's uh, the Coyote 4500W model. I've looked at all the zippers. I think everything works. So I'll definitely go ahead and pick that up. Also found these FootJoy shoes. FootJoy Dry Joy leather. A little bit of paint on the toe, but that should be fine. Good condition. Otherwise, these shoes are going to be $650. And then we got the camping backpack. So I'm thinking I could take both of these items to play it against sports and see if I could get some cash in hand today. Sorry about the weird angle. <laughs> Came over here to look at this rip stick, but then I found this baseball glove right here. It's a Mizuno. I think it's like a kid's kids model, but still Mizuno is really good. $4.97. So I think I'll, uh, I think I'll grab it. And then if they don't want to give me at least, you know, five bucks in profit, I can just bring it back and return it to get our money back. All right, so it was pretty good. I got the FootJoy golf shoes, this camping backpack, and the baseball glove for $15.50. I rounded up. The shoes were $6.50, the glove was $4.97, and the bag was $3.97. So let's say $15.50 altogether. I'm taking this stuff straight to play it against sports to see if I can get any more than $15.50. Hey, how's it going? Seeing what I can get trade in for this stuff. Or not trade in. Yeah. Got a Kelty camping backpack, Mizuno kids glove, and a pair of Foot Joy golf shoes. So it was pretty successful. We took the camping backpack. Man, that leaf blower is super loud. Got the backpack, the Foot Joy golf shoes, and the baseball glove. And they gave me a check for $30. As you guys know, if you've watched the video, excuse me, I'll walk right in front of you. If you watch the video, you know, it paid $15.50 uh, for those items. So we almost doubled our money on there, just taking the stuff to play it against sports. So that's instant cash in our pocket. Really helpful for this challenge. I know some of you are probably thinking that I'm driving a lot for this challenge, going from my house to Goodwill and back to the house and to play it against sports and blah, blah, blah. But I've kept up with my odometer on my car for this challenge and I've so far only driven 19 miles. It's gonna increase as we go, but over the first three days, it's a total of 19 miles. My car gets about 15 to 18 miles per gallon, depending on how I'm driving. So 
let's just assume we're spending about two dollars to three dollars in gas gas right now in lexington south carolina where i live is only two dollars and 15 cents per gallon uh, so it's just not a huge factor i'm addressing it in the video because i knew if i didn't i'd have haters coming out the yin yang telling me i'm not factoring in my fuel cost i am it's just not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things it's day four of the challenge and i have to give you guys some major updates when we left played against sports yesterday with our 30 dollars check that put us at a total of 45 dollars and 48 cents in profit for the challenge so far i thought that was going to be it for day three which was a pretty good spot to be in but then last night i got the facebook notification that our christmas tree molds sold on facebook for seven dollars plus shipping and then after i was like pumped and excited about that i started getting some messages about the ryobi leaf blower and i was super excited a guy actually went to buy it it was like a pending sale and then he sent me another message and he was like oh it doesn't have a charger for it I'm like, no, it's just the battery and the leaf blower. You can charge the battery, whatever. Uh, so he canceled the sale, got kind of bummed about that. But then I woke up this morning and someone else had bought it for full asking price, $40 plus shipping. So after the fees and shipping are taken out on both the Christmas tree and the leaf blower transactions, I'm left with $43.17 on those two items. So when we add that to our total from yesterday of $45 and 48 cents that means i'm currently at 88 dollars and 65 cents that is super awesome for just being four dollars into this starting from absolute zero challenge and then today to capitalize on that almost 89 dollars capital that we have to invest in the challenge i'm here in my favorite store in the world dream deals this is an amazon overstock and liquidation store every single thing in the store is going to be just six dollars per item by the way i started a second ebay store last night i listed the two hats that we had listed on facebook marketplace i just didn't think those were going to sell very well they didn't really have a lot of views so I went through the process and started a second eBay store. I have not shared it with anybody. I am not gonna promote this in any way. I'm just starting from zero. I have zero feedback on there. So it's very hard to get some sales, but both of those hats are currently listed on eBay. And probably whatever I get in Dream Deals today is gonna get listed on that eBay store as well. But either way, let's get in there and see if we can make some money. All right, so like I said, everything in this store is just $6 per item. Today, they have a lot of Target stuff, which usually, I don't know, usually I think their stuff comes from Amazon or other stores. So the target load isn't quite so good. You can find some good stuff for personal use here and there, but um, not a lot of stuff for resale. I did pick up three or four items I'll show it to you once we get out in the car, uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out. But this is what the store looks like. Everybody's walking around finding deals. You find anything good today? Today. Not yet, kind of slow today, I agree. So here are the three items I picked up at Dream Deals. Again, everything was $6. This Fisher Price play set, cleanup and dust set. The set of curtains, brand new in the package from Lush Decor. You can see the MSRP on these is $170. Six bucks for those is a crazy deal. And then we got this book, hardcover, The Tales of Beetle the Bard from Harry Potter. Retail price on that is 35 bucks. So really good pickups for $6 a piece. I'm gonna get all these listed on Facebook Marketplace and eBay today. Hopefully some of them will sell pretty quickly. So I went into Dream Deals with $88.65 and I spent $19.15 after tax. Six times three is 18 plus tax. So that leaves me with $69.50. And I'm gonna take that $69.50 into the Goodwill bins again to see if we can find some more stuff. First like this baseball glove, it's a Mizuno. Kind of in rough shape. It's missing the little strap there, but maybe played against sports will still be interested in it for sure. And then, I was digging in this thing and I found this bag. It's an REI camping backpack, Lookout 40. Pretty good condition. I'm gonna go through all and make sure all the, the zippers and everything work. Uh, but either way, I'll definitely go ahead and grab it. So I found these balls on a Wilson Freestyle Volleyball. These are not like cuts. These are like, it's like a sticker or something because it comes off when you rub it. So I'm gonna grab that, take that to play against sports. And then football right here, since stuff is so cheap, I'm just gonna grab it. I mean, it's a little deflated, but Maybe they'll give me a couple bucks for it. Um, ooh, Arctic. This Arctic cup is really dirty, but it's like a can, a can koozie. Those are good. Is that another one? Yeah, two of them. Oh, that one's even dirtier. Still worth picking up though. Arctic's a pretty good brand here. Just keep looking for more stuff. Again, half price day, so you gotta take advantage of it. Nice Eddie Bauer backpack or diaper bag. I think it's a diaper bag. Yeah. 
We'll grab that for sure. That was a very successful bin strip. I spent a total of $8.55 on everything. We got the Eddie Bauer diaper bag, basically like new condition. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Throw it up on Facebook Marketplace. We got the two balls, the volleyball and the football that we will take to play it against sports. We got two of the Arctic tumblers. Second one's in here somewhere. I gotta clean these up, but these should, should sell pretty well on Facebook Marketplace. Maybe like 10 bucks for the pair. We got the REI camping. Uh, backpack there and the Louisville slugger glove that we'll also take to play it again sports So the backpack the glove and two balls are going to play it again cups are going on Facebook marketplace and the diaper bags going on Facebook marketplace What is going on you guys it is currently day seven of the starting from zero challenge and no you didn't miss anything in the video I didn't accidentally forget to include days five and six in the video I just didn't film anything this weekend I don't like working too much on the weekends these days but I was still trying to sell stuff so you just left off in the video you saw I spent eight dollars and fifty five cents at the Goodwill bins on all that stuff and I'll give you some updates from there after that eight dollars and fifty five cents that knocked us down to sixty dollars and ninety five cents in total profit but then I decided to list that REI backpack that we found on Facebook Marketplace. I said I was going to take it to play it against sports, but I thought I could probably sell it over the weekend on Facebook for more money. And that's exactly what happened. It sold for $28 plus shipping. So after our Facebook fees, I'm left with $25.86 on that. And then another thing we sold this weekend was our Reebok hat, the green one we've got way back when in the video, we paid a dollar for it. It actually sold on my second eBay store. And as you know, starting from zero feedback is really tough to get sales. So I got a watcher on that hat when it was listed at $9.99. And I sent him an offer of $7.99 and I was like, I sent a message with the offer and I said, hey, this is my second eBay store. I don't have any feedback yet. I would greatly appreciate the support. I promise I will ship it out as soon as I can. I'm a seasoned eBay seller, just it doesn't show that on this account. And he sent me a counter offer of $7 free shipping and I just went ahead and accepted it. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, I made $1.60 on that hat, which is which is cool. You know, I made my first eBay sale on the second, second account. So after the backpack sale and the hat sale, we are currently up to $88.41. Correction, I'm currently at $89.41. I forgot to count the dollar that we got back in our cost of goods from the hat. So total in cash at this moment, $89.41. And I still have a ton of inventory left to sell, hopefully today, the mirror, the Adidas cleats, the Nike hat, everything I got at Dream Deals, the curtains, the cleaning set, the Harry Potter book, and uh, the other sporting good stuff, the volleyball, the football, and the baseball gloves. So today's goal is going to be to try my best to sell as much of this stuff as I can for any amount of money because I just want to maximize our profit and not end the first week with a bunch of inventory. That's not the goal of this. The goal of this is to make money. So let's get after it today and see what we can do. I would also say that when you start a new eBay store, and you get your first sale, you need to do everything in your power to get positive feedback on that sale because that's what's gonna lead you to become a more trustworthy seller on eBay. So with that guy's hat purchase, I packed it super well. That is the best hat I've ever packed in my entire life. I sent him a whole like paragraph note thanking him so much for his purchase, explaining the situation, like how hard it is to get positive feedback on eBay and just asked if he was happy with his transaction, if he could just take a few seconds to just leave me positive feedback. It doesn't have to be a huge paragraph. It doesn't even have to be, it could be two words, like great job, as long as he takes the time to give that account positive feedback. Uh, I think if you explain it and put a letter like that with, with people, they're, they're gonna take 30 seconds out of their day to give you positive feedback and that'll really help you become a more, again, a more trustworthy seller on that eBay account. I'm starting off today back here at the Goodwill Bins and Retail Combo Center. I think I'm going to focus on trying to find more stuff to add into my Play It Again Sports lot when I take it there because all I have right now is that glove, the volleyball, and the football. So I want to just take him like maybe five or six things. Like, hey man, give me 30 bucks for everything. And he, I think he's more likely to do that than just pay me for a, a volleyball, a football, and a baseball glove. So going to the bins I just opened about five minutes ago and see if we can find some more sporting good stuff or anything else to sell. Okay, so the first thing I found is this uh, Exelon racquetball racket. The grip is a little little cracked, but since it has the case, I think it'll be worth, I don't know, I think these probably sell for like 30 bucks or so on eBay. So maybe play it on sports to give me like five for it, five to 10. Found this helmet, Rawlings baseball helmet, nothing too fancy here. I might not get this, but then the best item, oops, the best item is this Advent Advent bike trainer. It's basically a stand you can hook your, your bicycle up to. You put your wheel in there and like lock it in. And then you 
and basically turns a regular bike into a stationary bike. And last time I was in Play It Again Sports, he had a customer asking for one of these and he didn't have it in stock. So this is huge. It's kind of heavy, so I don't know what it'll cost, but these sell for like a hundred bucks, you know, a hundred bucks plus. So hopefully I can get it for maybe five bucks or so. Take it to him and he can maybe give me 30 to 50 for it. So huge fun here for sure. Thank y'all. Thank you. So I spent $3.50 on everything. I got the bike trainer and this eel for Moe's and the, and the uh, racquetball racket. I don't know how they charged me because I asked him how much for the bike trainer. He said $3. So he only charged me 50 cents for both the eel and the, the racquetball racket, which is fine with me. Uh, so I'm going to take this home, get it cleaned up a little bit, and you know, it's got some dust and stuff, and then we're going to take it straight to play it against sports. I came home to grab the rest of my stuff, the volleyball, football, baseball gloves, and I'm going to take these Adidas golf shoes too. These these have been listed on Facebook Marketplace for three or four days now for like 15 bucks and no bites. So I'm taking those to play it against sports, and then I did come home to clean this up a little bit. Uh, I think taking you know five minutes to clean some of the dust off here uh, will hopefully add to the uh the value that he's gonna give me for it all right moment of truth let's see what we can make pretty good not quite as good as i was hoping but they paid me 30 bucks for everything except the racquetball racket he just said it was in good condition but he just doesn't sell very many of them so he wasn't interested in that but the football the volleyball the adidas golf shoes and the baseball glove and the the um bike trainer for 30 bucks which I, know, I felt like it was a little low he said the bike trainer was just older and then he was probably going to sell it for 50 or 60 or so and it might take a couple weeks to sell it so i understand he's got to run a business and i've got to run a business so either way walking out with 30 bucks that's more than i had so this is technically day eight of the starting from zero challenge but i want to break it up into one week segments and have a four-part series where i continue this challenge over the course of 30 days so that last batch of stuff we took to play it against sports was the last thing i sold in the first seven days so now I want to give you guys kind of a synopsis of how everything went my opinions on everything what I learned and kind of a full financial breakdown of of everything and I'm excited to keep continuing this challenge on for the next three weeks so I ended my first week with hundred and fifteen dollars and ninety one cents in cash along with several items still available for sale I still currently have the Harry Potter book the set of curtains the Fisher Price kitchen play set the set of two Arctic tumblers the mirror that we picked up on the side of the road and the racquetball racket and I believe that all of these items together should bring us a total of about 60 to $70 in cash once they sell. I did bring up the amount of driving I was doing earlier in this video, and for the first week, I drove a total of 33 miles, and as I said, gas is about $2.10 per gallon now, so let's say I spent like five bucks in gas. And over the last seven days, not including the video editing that I've done for this video, I spent about 12 hours total on this challenge, shopping, listing, and shipping out items. So that $115.91 one cents divided by 12 hours of work means that I've made about nine dollars and 65 cents an hour but then again I do still have that stuff available for sale that once it sells it would take just a few minutes to pack it up and ship it out so there's not much more work in terms of hours on the horizon but still some potential profit on the horizon so I'm not 100% sure how to break this down but I'm just sharing the information with you guys and you can kind of interpret it however you want one of the things I really liked about this challenge was that it was pretty challenging taking my eBay store out of the equation as well as the YouTube and Instagram Instagram audience out and really just focusing on Facebook and selling to play it against sports was pretty hard and I realized that when you sell to like consignment stores like that that's generally the least amount of money you're gonna get for your items so in this challenge I was really focused on making quick cash I wanted to be in the predicament of somebody who had a cell phone bill or had a, a, an internet or electricity bill due next week and they just didn't have cash and i wanted to see how fast we could build up amount of, an amount of cash that could pay a typical bill like that and i think 115 dollars 91 could pay most of those bills for most people in this country going forward in this challenge i probably will focus on listing more of my items on facebook marketplace first before taking them to play it against sports or another similar store just so i can maximize my profit i also want to focus on selling more things on ebay eBay. I have one positive feedback now. The guy that bought the hat gave me positive feedback. So hopefully it'll be more likely that I could sell some more items on there because 
probably eBay is where you're gonna get the most money for your items. Another thing I really liked about how part one of this challenge played out was that none of the items I sold were super valuable items. In my last $1 thrift challenge video that I made like a year and a half ago, I bought five items for a dollar at the bins, but one of those items was a Garmin GPS watch, and that thing sold for like $90. So yeah, I made over $100 in profit on that video, but most of it was because of that watch. But in this challenge, I don't think I sold anything. I think that maybe the camping backpack was, was the most expensive thing I sold. No, I sold the leaf blower. That was pretty nice. But these were all pretty common items. It wasn't like just sheer luck. You walk into the bins and finding a Garmin GPS watch for a hundred bucks that you paid 50 cents for, you know? So I felt like this was a much more realistic and relatable way to go about making 115 bucks in a week. I am super excited about the next three videos in the series because I think the further we get into this challenge, the more money we're gonna make and the less work it's gonna take to make that money. Right now we're making 9.65 an hour for the first week, but I think by the end of this challenge, we could maybe have our hourly wage up to 40 to $60 an hour if we can find some, some pretty good stuff going into the next few weeks. So I'm super pumped about that and I hope you guys are excited to follow me along on this journey. This was the first time on my channel that I tried to make a long video over the course of several days and that's pretty challenging enough trying to keep up with all the footage and make sure you don't accidentally delete anything and when you factor in trying to make other videos for your channel not related to this challenge at the same time, it was just super, super tough. I spent a ton of time and energy on this video. So if you guys have watched it so far and enjoyed it, be sure to take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. It really helps me and the channel out a ton. If you guys are excited for this challenge and you wanna see parts two, three, and four, and also any other videos I make on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.